Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to this last episode for this course. First of all, I want to thank all of you for the support during the last months. To say the truth, I'm sad that this course came to an end, but I'm also glad because in the next course, we will start dealing with more advanced stuff. This was my biggest course that I ever uploaded online to help the community, and this was a big test for me actually to see how much I can do and how much support I can get. Because believe it or not, I wouldn't be here making another video if I didn't have a positive feedback. All those likes and comments that I was receiving, they really helped me to continue doing what I love the most, and I love making screencasts. If I could make a living with this, then I would definitely spend 9 or 12 hours or even 15 hours per day just making screencasts. So hopefully if the channel and the platform do well in the future and they provide me with income to make a living, then I definitely see myself uploading 4 or 5 videos every day. So in the future we might spend hours together daily learning new stuff. So this will become feasible only if you keep supporting me and I think that we will do it because at this point the support that I'm getting from all of you is absolutely amazing. Again, I really want to thank all of you for this. So during this month a lot of new stuff will come up. The new develop platform will be online, three new courses will be announced, so make sure you check my social media accounts below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, in order to be updated, because this is where I will announce them. Also, if you like my work with this course and the other ones, then please go on the Facebook page of Develop and leave a review there. Now enough with this stuff and let's get back to work. So this video will be a bit long, not only because of the intro, but also because we will go through a lot of stuff. So up to now we have learned elementary to some advanced Laravel stuff. However, as you have noticed, we always take it a step further by learning something new. So in this video we will go through deleting an article, however there is a lot into this. So we will see how we can delete an entry completely from the table and also how to soft delete an entry. Now, we will discuss about the differences between those two and what are the advantages and disadvantages and of course when you should use each method. So let me start with an introduction. I will go to my desktop here and I will open the trash. I will create a new folder. And what happens when I delete this folder? It goes to the trash, which means that it is still in the system and we can get it back whenever we want. So this is the idea of soft deleting entries from a table. You do not actually delete them, but you mark them as deleted. So why we do that? We will see later why. However, if I delete it from the trash now, then it is not anymore in the system. So we cannot bring the folder back. So this is the idea of deleting entries from the system entirely and soft deleting entries. So I will start by deleting entries entirely from the table. So first I want to have a button for each article that we own. If you remember, each article has a user ID and it is right here. So right now I am authenticated as this guy and this guy has an ID of 1 and you can see it here, this is the name and this is the ID. So basically we want to have a delete button for each article that has a user ID 1. So I will start with an if condition inside the index file. So inside here and inside the panel footer I want to check if the article's user ID is equal with the authenticated user's ID. So we can go right here and say if article user ID is equal to the authenticated user ID. Now if it is, then I will include a form with a button. We also need some CSS just to make this a bit more clear. So button, the class will be btn, btn danger and then btn sm so it is a small button. Regarding the form we can have a class, we can pull this to the right 
and we can also have a style with a margin left of 25 pixels and yeah let's take a look uh, actually I forgot to have the text here so the text will be delete okay so this is the result so some of the articles have this delete button so this means that the authenticated user owns this article in the first page we just have one in the second page we have another one okay perfect now regarding the form action well the action is this one articles and then the ID of the article If you want to double check the URI, then you can run the PHP Artisan route list command that we have used a lot throughout the course. The method will be post. However, for this to work, we need a method field delete and a CSRF field. So inside the form above the button, I will say CSRF field like this. And we also need a method field. So method field and it will be delete this is actually very similar to what we have done for the edit view if you remember you see pretty much the same thing we just have changed the put to delete anyway this code is enough in terms of the client code so let's write the server side code now in articles controller we have this last method this last function here destroy so in the destroy, I want to get the article, like this. And I want to use the delete method. And after deleting the article, I want to redirect the user back to the articles page. Okay, so I will open the articles table here, and you can see that we have 1000 total entries. So let's give this a try and see if this works. I will refresh, I will click delete. We are redirected back and the article is not there anymore and the total should be 999 and it is so this was enough to do the trick however you might have probably heard of another function the destroy so what is the difference between delete and destroy so to use delete we need to get the article like we have done it here and then call the delete method the delete function However, for destroy, this is not necessary. For destroy, we do not have to retrieve the model like we have done here in the first line. So let me show you. I will delete this code. You can keep the code, but to have this controller clear, I have to delete the code. So I will just say article and then call the destroy function and I will pass the ID. So you can see that we do not have to retrieve the model. So you just need one line of code. Now, in case you want to delete a couple of articles, you can pass the IDs like this, one, two, three, four, etc., etc. So these will be the article's ID. So in our case, we just have to delete one. So I will say ID there, and I will go back to this, to the second page now, and I will delete this one. Okay, no problem. If we go back to the second page, it is not there anymore. And the total? 998. All right, now what about soft deleting the entries? So the way soft deleting works is like this. In the articles table, we will add a new column and we will call it deleted at. So we have created at, we have updated at. So we will have another one deleted at. By default, it will be null. However, when you delete the article by pressing the delete button, of course, deleted at will take the current timestamp. So the article will not be actually deleted. It will still be there, but it will be marked as deleted. And whenever you query articles, as we have done inside the index function, the articles marked as deleted will not be queried. So to enable soft delete, we have to include the soft deletes trait in the model. So back to the article model, I will say here use soft deletes and of course we have to import it. Also we have to include the deleted at column in the dates array. So right here deleted 
add to make this a carbon instance. Now to include the deleted at column in the table, we have to go back to the migration and add the column. Now make sure you search for posts table migration because this was the original name of the table. And after the content, I will say soft deletes. Okay, so now because of the migration change, we have to go and refresh and see it again. So I will run this command. Okay. So back in the table, I will refresh. So you can see that now we have this deleted at column. Now, if we go back and delete an article, so I will refresh here. Do we have any article? Let me double check. So page four, we have this article. So if I delete this article and I go back to this, I refresh, the total is 1000. So even if we deleted the article, it was in page four, so you cannot see the article anymore. The total remains 1000. However, let me find the article. So this article now, the deleted at column, is not null anymore. It has a timestamp. So this article is marked as deleted. And this article is not visible anymore when we query the article stable. And you can double check it from here. So we are in uh, the page 4 and we cannot see the article. So these are the two different techniques that you can use to delete entries. So before I start talking about why you should use one or the other, let's go through some more code. As you can see, the soft deleted articles are not visible. However, what if you change your mind and you want to have them as well? So in the index, we can call this function with trust. So this function will get everything, even the soft deleted articles, which the soft deleted articles are marked as trashed in the same way that uh, Mac works, right? So you delete something and it goes to the trash. So same, same idea actually. So we have the code here and if I go back, you can now see that the deleted article is back because we query everything, even the ones that are marked as deleted. To get only the soft deleted articles, you can use this function. Only trashed. Save, go back, and we have to go to the first page, because we have just one page, as you can see. And you can now see only the article that we have marked as deleted. So as you can see, you still have a couple of functions to get back the entries that you have marked as deleted. Now, I will bring this back to just paginate because this is what we have initially. And let's see another use case. So what happens if you want to restore a soft deleted article, right? So you have marked this article as deleted, which is, where is it? It was in page two. So this article is marked as soft deleted, right? So what if you want to restore this article back? The idea is to change the deleted at value from this timestamp to null. And to do this, you can use the restore method. At this point, we do not have a page that will display only the soft deleted articles, but if we would have one, then you will have a function, maybe called, I don't know, a uh, restore maybe. So this function will accept an ID and we will get the article that we want to restore and then you simply call the restore method like this and this will restore the article. For now this is not available so I will delete this and what I will do is to go here and make this null. So this is what restore will do for you. And if we go back to this we should have all the articles and if I go to the page 4 this article now is not marked as deleted anymore. So the last use case is when you want to force delete an article. Force delete, it means that you delete the article entirely from the system, even if the table uses the soft deleted technique, which of course the articles table does at the moment. So to force delete an article, 
you can do this. You want to retrieve the article, and then you have to call the force delete method like this. Okay, so let's try this. Delete. It is deleted. However, the article now should not be marked as deleted. It should be deleted entirely from the system and the total should be 999. Reload. And as you can see, it is. Alright, so that was a lot of coding. Many use cases here. So by writing the code, we learned the difference between deleting and soft deleting. So let's have a look at the advantages and disadvantages. So as you can imagine, by marking articles as deleted and not deleting them, we have some performance issues. So even if you mark an article as deleted, it is still there. So you understand that a table with 1 million articles will be faster than a table with 1 million active articles and 1 million soft deleted articles. Because in the second case, you have 2 million articles, even if you display 1 million. However, if you do not delete your entries and you mark them as deleted, it means that they will be there and in case you need the data, you can restore it. So the usage of these two techniques, it really depends on your problem. So the good thing about this though, is that you can use both techniques. So you have a Facebook account. What happens if you delete your account? I don't work at Facebook, so I'm not 100% sure, but I imagine that Facebook will soft delete your account. If you do not log in on Facebook for one or two months, I think Facebook will delete your account entirely and this is where forced delete comes into the game. So in the case of Facebook, you can use both techniques. In the beginning, you mark the account as deleted and then after some time, after some period, you force delete the account. So this was just an example. Of course, there are many examples out there and there are many use cases where you can use soft delete and delete. So, uh, this is all I had for this video, I hope you enjoyed the course, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and for the support, of course. Bye-bye.